Welcome, this is Zon with Repo Products. Today's video is a request by an end user. They have a design situation where they want to create a roof on top of a roof for a little clear story um, set of windows. And so the end user sent me a picture and the picture looks like this. And so you can see from the image that they've got a main roof for the building and it's just a simple rectangular building. They've got a little um, set of walls above that roof with some clear story windows and a little roof up here. And the request is how do you draw something like that? So let's go ahead and get started. Here I am in Revit 2019 and the first thing all I want to do is head over to an elevation view because I want to set up my levels. So you have two levels right off the bat, level one and level two. Let's go ahead and change the name for level two to roof. And actually what I'll do is I'll say lower roof, lower main roof. And then I'll create another level for the upper portion of the roof. I'm using LL as the keyboard shortcut, by the way. So I'm going to put this as upper roof. And uh, as for the height, you know, obviously it's going to adjust depending on how high they want the walls for the clear story windows. So this is just give us our baseline for the lower roof and the upper roof. Heading back to the floor plan level one view, we'll create a simple building. And we'll have it go to the uh, lower main roof for the height. Use a simple rectangle. And we're done. Now let's head over to the upper roof floor plan. And we'll change our underlay over here to level one below so that you can see the walls. And then we'll create a simple uh, roof. So we'll head over to the roof command, use roof by footprint, specify some type of overhang, let's say a two foot overhang. We'll do a, let's do this wood rafter roof here and I will tab all of these. Now we want not hip but gable on the left and the right ends so I will uncheck define slopes and when you're done you will hit finish and it builds it. We'll shade it so you can see it and we'll head over to the view range to change the cut plane to make it higher so let's say we take it up to say 50 feet so we can see everything and there you go. Now let's look at this in 3D because it's a really simple building but you know we have to make sure things are drawn properly. And as you can see these walls right now we have them going up to from a say an elevation standpoint we see they're going to the lower main roof and here. So let's take this and let's change this from upper roof to the lower main roof so it drops it down. And that looks fine. Uh, if we want to, we can take the walls, select all of them, select one, type SA, and that's the keyboard shortcut for select all, and attach the top in the options toolbar to this roof, and you're done. Now what about the, um, the walls in the upper portion? So again, heading over to the north elevation, we can go to that view and we can see that we need to have walls that go from, say, um, lower main roof some position here up a little higher so let's get over to the lower main roof floor plan zoom in here shade it change our level uh, our view range again and set it so it's easy to see everything and then I will create some walls again and this time we want our walls uh, let's do unconnected height this time. We'll make it, say, 5 feet is fine. And we'll do a simple rectangle this time and put it like so. Now, you could be super exact if you want to, but uh, this is just for the understanding of how to build something. You know, we can make and move the walls to make it symmetrical and things like that. I'm not worried about that right now. Let's head back to the 3D view, and you can see the walls that are created. I'm going to tab into all of those walls. And you can see that right now, the way they're drawn, it's kind of inside the building. We need to push them up higher. So if we head over to the north elevation, we can see where they lie. Uh, if we select, right click and say select previous, we can select all of those walls. Um, 
So let's head back to the 3D view and get a better sense of what's going on. So these are the walls that we want. And I'll tab into that string. And we're going to move them up higher or lower so that if they're above the roof. And right now, their base constraint is at lower main roof. Take it up. Let's take it up to something easy to see, like 9 feet. So it's much higher. And because we're going to have clear story windows, we might want this vertical portion of the wall to be taller. So let's take that up to, say, 12 feet. And then now that we've done that, we can take the walls again. I can hit highlight one of the walls by putting your mouse over it. Hit the tab key, it'll highlight all the walls. Left click once, they're all selected. Choose the attach command, and this time choose the base to attach to this lower roof here. And it will bring those walls up, so that way they're not inside. And so let me switch this over to hidden line so it's easier to see. So the walls are not inside the house, if you will. And now all we need to do is create another roof at the upper portion. So we'll go to the upper roof floor plan view. And then we'll do it again. Um, we will say roof by footprint. And do whatever overhang. This time we'll do a smaller overhang, say a foot. And again, we'll tab around to all of these. And sometimes the tabbing works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's not a huge deal. And again, since you want the left and the right ends to be gables, we will uncheck define slopes. Finish it. And it builds it, and it will ask if you want to attach the walls to go to the roof. In this case, I do, so I'm going to click Yes. Now that I'm done, I click the 3D view icon to look at it in a 3D view. And we'll shade it, and it looks like this. Now, um, the height of this obviously is not very tall. That's why the walls look like it got dropped. So we're going to move this up by 12 feet and push it up higher. Oops. And now it's much taller. See that? So we don't need it that drastically high. We just did it for the sake of having something. So I'll do six feet. And now you have the house that looks a lot like the picture. And then as for the windows, just put the windows in whatever kind of windows you want. So we'll start with the window command. Pick the kind of window that you want. Uh, maybe the fixed window that you want needs to be more needs to be wider than it is narrower. So we can just pick any one that we want. And we'll go to the type properties and we'll duplicate it and call it whatever size we want. Let's make them uh, 5 feet wide, which is 60 inches, and 48 high. So I'll just change the name. I'll duplicate it, change the name, and make the width 5 feet. Now that I've done that, it's available. And then when I click to place it, it looks like this. Now I can see from that window design that it's still you know, not that nice. Um, let's go back into the properties. And let's make this, say, 8 feet. And let's make this 3 feet. And see how it looks proportionally. And it looks okay there. Actually, let's go even not so high. Let's go 2 feet. And apply. So now it's actually 8 feet wide by 2 feet long. There you go. So now all we have to do is just rename this so it's the correct size information. So 8 times 12 is 96, and 2 feet is 24. That way, if you have to use it later, you're OK. And then lastly, look at the position of the sill height right now. It's some arbitrary number. So let's take it up by, say, a foot and see how high it goes. Well, let's go a little higher. Let's say 2 feet. Done. So all you need to do if you want to create more is either go to the plan view, like the upper roof plan view. Um, and sometimes it's a little hard to see, obviously, because the wall, the roofs are in the way. One of the tricks that you can do is you can select the wall, the roof, and override the graphics by category, make it transparent, so you can see through them. Now. There's the wall, and if I tab into the window, I can select it, and it's right there. So now that it's selected, I can use, say, the mirror command and mirror it off of uh, a vertical line, which I don't have. So let's create a reference plane off the midpoint. Um, I typed in RP, which is the keyboard shortcut. Okay. So now let's select that window again, and then I will mirror it, 
MM is the keyboard shortcut, by the way, to mirror. And then uh, if you really want to get into, you can go to the view range and you can change the cut plane. Because right now it's at 50 feet, it's up high, so that way it doesn't cut the roof. If you want it so that it cuts the walls and you can see the windows, you have to drop this down. So let's say we drop this down initially by four feet. And now you can see the windows are placed, see? Uh, lastly, the windows, I just threw them in. So hit the little flip switch to make sure the glazing is on the outside of the building. Um, and then lastly, just copy. For, in this case, I'll just do three on each side, like that. And then I'll take this window, select it, type in SA to select all of them, and I'll use a mirror command off of the center. And it's done. Now, oh, it's outside of the host. Ah, so be cautious too when you're doing something like that because the mirror command may not be exactly true depending on where you're picking the line. So let's do that again. I'm going to undo that, Control Z. Then I'm going to select the windows, type in SA, and this time I'm going to do a mirror command where I am drawing the mirror axis off the midpoint of the wall, not the roof. There you go. So let's look at this in 3D. And now you have a roof on top of a roof based upon the photo that was given. Okay. Um, and that's it. That's the video that was requested. Hopefully it's helpful. And uh, thank you very much for watching.